Hi everyone, welcome back to another video. Thank you so much for joining me. Tonight I'm going to go after quite a faint target with the Edge HD. So join me in this video to see if I can capture the Cave Nebula. So like I said, tonight I'm going to be going after the Cave Nebula with the Edge HD. Now I bought this telescope earlier on in the year back in March or April and I haven't had much time using it. I've only captured a couple of images with it um, and mainly because I've been using other gear and I've been testing out uh, telescopes and doing reviews, the Ascot ATPHQ for example. So I'm really quite excited to be getting this telescope back out um, and using it again. Now I'm going after quite a faint target, the Cave Nebula, so it'll be really interesting to see how much detail I can actually pull out um, with the edge because that is uh, quite a slow aperture of f7.5. So I'm going to be using the reducer, I'm going to be at 1400 and something millimetres um, and yeah hopefully I can capture a good image. So now what I need to do is get this cover off the, the mount and uh, get the telescope out of the shed and actually set it up. Okay, so I'm all set up and I'm all balanced. Let me show you what I'm actually shooting with tonight. Okay, so just a really quick breakdown of my rig. This is the Celestron Edge 8 inch HD telescope. I have the Dew Band and the Dew Shield attached, as you can see. I've got the ASI Air Pro, which is controlling all of the guiding and the image capture. Absolutely love that bit of kit. My main imaging camera is the 294mm Pro. And in the filter wheel, I have the Antlia 3 nanometer SHO filters. They are the 36 millimeter filters. I have the EAF, which is gonna be controlling all the focus with the SCT attachment there. That works really well. Have the Celestron OAG and the 174mm for my guide cam. And all of this is sat on top of the Ioptron SEM60. Absolutely love that mount. Um, I have a couple of uh, counterweights. So I have one counterweight on the uh, the opposite end of the telescope just because it's quite back heavy and here I just have some washers attached which uh, which makes it uh, perfectly balanced so yeah I'm really looking forward to, to imaging tonight now I'm hoping this is the one of the last times I actually have to carry this telescope out of the shed and set up because I do have at the other end of the garden this so I'm just putting the finishes and finishing touches to my uh, sky shed pod just uh, making sure it's completely watertight and then everything is going to be moved into there so hopefully the edge is going to be the permanent telescope in my dome so i can't wait for that but yeah looking forward to to imaging tonight with the edge forecast isn't great you can probably hear it is quite windy i've also um the clouds are due to roll in around midnight so should only get a couple of hours but Hopefully a couple of hours is enough to capture some good data tonight. But anyway, I'll come back out when it's dark and I'll show you how I'm getting on. Okay, so I'm here in Telescopius and I just thought I'd show you how I'm planning to frame this target. Um, so I have all of my details plugged in here. I'm using the Edge HD, which has a native focal length of 2032 millimeters, but with the 0.7 reducer that takes it down to uh, 1422. I have the um, sensor size for the 294mm Pro plugged in here um, and I found my target of the Cave Nebula and this is what it should look like. This is sh how it should fit in the frame. So I could just frame the Cave Nebula right in the middle 
of the image but I want to try and put the, the main cave nebula in the top left um, and hopefully I can pick up some of this nebulosity down here in the bottom of the image. I think there's quite a bit of HA there, hopefully it's not too faint that I can't pick it up, um, but hopefully that will add a bit more of a, a nicer composition to the image. So that's the plan anyway, I will uh, bring you back outside when it's dark enough and show you what that first sub looks like. So I'm up and running and you might be able to make out the edge there behind me that is capturing data and that first sub has just rolled in and to me this will always be the most exciting part of astrophotography. I love seeing that first sub exposure pop up on screen um, just to see what that, that framing looks like. Um, let me know what you find the most exciting part of astrophotography in the comments below. Um, but anyway this is the first sub. I don't know how well you'll be able to make that out. Um, but yeah, slightly uh, concerned that I might have to plow quite a few hours into this image. So this is a single um, five minute HA sub exposure and it is very faint. Um, so I can just about make out the edge of the cave nebula, um, but I was hoping to see a bit more detail, a bit more nebulosity in there. So I know the HA is the strongest signal in this target as well. So um, I think the O3 and the S2 are gonna need quite a few hours. Um, but I'm gonna let the telescope run overnight and see what I can capture.